Demonstrate three different styles of presenting a target. Three different concepts. You could use any target to use that concept. It applies whether it's to your hand, the toe, the chest, but just general idea. Okay? First concept, first style of present the target is very simple. I'm Hunter's opponent and he wants to guide me, so he wants to give me a target. Now, each time I will do a step forward, on the beginning of my step forward is when he will present a target. That's something that will get my interest for that spur at the moment. The key there for Hunter, on guard, so as I do a step forward, he's gonna just raise up the tip and show the bottom of the hand. Is to open up, if I don't bite, it's just simply close and step away, okay? So our goal here is to limit the opportunity where opponent can attack, right? So our first drill would be, I'm moving around, you're gonna open up, if I don't react, you step away. Again, open up, you're late. I'm beginning of my step. Open up, I come in, we make a stop it, okay? Next, we're gonna go through different targets, the same idea. So we're gonna work on the bottom of the hand. We're gonna work to open up the top of the hand. We're gonna look to open up our torso as well as to show our leg, okay? So, how's Hunter gonna do that? Now, first one, we did the bottom of the hand. Now he's gonna do the top of the hand. If I do a step forward, he's gonna lower the blade. Perfect. Up, I commit, you're gonna make a stop hit. Next one, torso. If I step forward, he's gonna look to pull his arm back and open up. If I commit, step away or parry. So it's up to you how you wanna defend. If you're a pistol gripper, work on a parry repost. If you're a French grip, work on a stop hit. Lastly, to show the leg, if I step forward, same idea, and exactly, Hunter does a good job of stepping the leg a little forward to entice the opponent. So if, if I commit, you can maybe make a hit. All righty, let's partner up. Good, so you open up, I commit. Make sure you hop away, so you hit and then separate. Again, up, good. If I don't go, you don't react, up, good. Next target, uh, good. Up, bomb, good. Next. Nice. Up. <laughs> so on the parry, don't let go. Just palm and hit. Good. And open up your leg. Nice. Again, try not to raise up. Try to sit low. Start moving. Good. Step forward. Right, that's right. Good. Uh, 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 this time we just show the target uh, when we present the target as opponent begins his attack or his or hers attack, right? Another way to demonstrate a target would be at the end of their attack. So just like we, we were to attack in their recovery, we could potentially get opponent to do a little bit of attack and hopefully to stretch him out even further. So, for example, what will happen is as I'm moving, on the first drill, every time I would do a step forward, this is when Robin would just open the target and kind of demonstrate something to me, right? Instead, this time, what's going to happen is as I'm moving around, she's going to look to step in, step in, and for example, take six. By doing, taking six, she's opening up the bottom of her hand, right? And she's gonna take a step backwards while holding the six. Good, so by doing so, I have stepped forward and she's hoping I'm gonna look to continue to stretch me out. This one is very useful to get opponents off balance, right? So if you have somebody that's very jittery, very active, those type of fencers, then it's very good to Give them a little bit of something to jolt on right away and then open up further and get them all off balance. Our drill is this, again, I'm moving in. On my step forward, take six and step away while lifting. As I commit, that's when your opportunity strikes. Okay, so we're gonna take six. Next time you step forward, you're gonna take four instead of six. And same idea, step away and then look to hit. And the third one, you step in, take eight. Oh, all the way here, step out. As I reach, you take six and look to hit. 
Okay? Can we remember that? So one time you step forward, you take six, step in your way, drawing for the bottom of the hand hit, for a stop hit. Next time we step in four, drawing them out for the outside of the hand to make a stop hit. And last one, very similar, we step in, take eight or octave, drawing them out for a six repost or a six opposition if you're French. Up and step away right away. Good. If I don't bite, nothing happens. Up, step away, step away. So that's the thing. I bite the first time, and I want you to not just react too soon. I want you to drag it out even further. Up, step out. I commit. Yes, perfect. And four. Up, up. Don't raise up the shoulder. Stay there. Take four. Step away. And now simply with your thumb, thumb lower the finger, uh, lower the tip. Oh, now look to hit. Right. Good. Again. Eight. Up. Oh. No, no, no. So you, on his step forward, that's right. And then step away, holding six. As he disengages or steps in, that's when you make a hit. Okay, good. And last one, you take eight, hold eight, and step away. And hop. Yeah, as you disengage, you're six. Good job. I want to see a little bit of commitment. You would only attack if opponent was to commit into you. So just, let's do that again. Stop, stop. Take four. Step away. Step away. Oh, you go chasing her. Uh, yes, there you go. Last one for the day today is uh, we will have a way of presenting the target where it's not you actively working to present the target. Okay, you simply have it open at all times. It's going to be obvious to your opponent the target is open, but if it's open at all times, there will be some creeping feeling of somebody wanting to come in and do something about it, okay? Patricia, for example, is down in the score. I have the lead. So she wants me to commit towards her and get something out of it. What she's going to do, instead of waiting for my step forward or anything else to provoke me in a certain way, what she's going to do is she's going to instantly just open up her hand and always have this exposed. So this is like a permanent invitation. All right? So now she has it up. We're moving around. And this is going to be more of a live drill. She's going to maintain my distance, and at some point in time, I will decide to go for the hit. You always have me open. You just stay tip to tip. So our job is to always maintain distance right here, tip to tip. We're coming in. Be patient. Be patient. As soon as I come in, up. Don't lunge at me. Just make a stop hit. You're a French grippist. Up. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Now, for pistol grippers, same idea. Just Judy will create the same opening. Right in here, at all times. And we're going to play around with different opens. Some at the bottom of the hand, or it could be at the top of the hand right here, exposing the target. doesn't really matter for now. Keep it up. We're pressuring me. We maintain this. As soon as I look to commit, I want you to try to do a parry. If I go under the hand, we're going to look to do either eight to finish, or if you have a quick hand, you could do a parry two and repass back in. So let me try parry two. Yes, yeah, so down and hit. Open up, right, maintain distance, keep it open, keep it open, keep it open, up, and where's the repost? Everybody's watching. Keep it open, where's the invite? Good. Up. All right. <laughs> invite, where's my invite? Permanent invite, yes. Good, maintain distance, permanent invite, permanent up. Good. This time finish eight. Permanent invite. Eight, good. Refresher, three different concepts. We can do an invitation on opponent's beginning of attack, kind of like attack on preparation, right? We can do an invitation basically at the end of their attack. So you, as they start, you want to capture their attention, hold it longer. Or we can always have it inviting, have it, having the opponent have second thoughts, second doubts, or whatever. And then you're going to use it to your advantage. Thank you. Enjoy your practice. Woo!